active campaign UTMs. In this video, we're gonna cover using links with UTM parameters attached in your active campaign emails. Now, this assumes that you've got Google Analytics installed on your site so that when people visit, tracking will kick in and Google Analytics will pick up information. Now, providing, by providing UTMs, we get more detailed information so you can track the source of where your visitors are coming from. And just to be clear, UTMs are tracking code. It stands for Urchin Tracking Module, which I believe came from a company that Google bought in about 2005. And in the example there, the last thing after the question mark are the UTM parameters. So let's dive right in. Now to start with, Google, Google has their own uh, URL UTM builder that you can follow. In my opinion, it is good, however, it's got a little too much flexibility, and I'll show you why momentarily. But first, I'm gonna recommend you check out Chris Mercer's measurementmarketing.io site. Click on the Get Started for Free, and then when you log in, you'll see this. Get to the exclusive members resources, click on Your Traffic Story, and that will open up a PDF. Read through it, it's excellent, and when you get down towards the bottom, Click here to download, and that will open a spreadsheet. And that spreadsheet here has what I think is one very important statement, which is right here, the last sentence. The most important thing is to be consistent in your naming conventions. Can't emphasize that enough. So let's go ahead and show you an example. I'm gonna build a uh, URL that has UTM parameters. And on this site here, we're a little more restrictive than Google is with you, and it's for good reason. So for instance, the campaign source is going to be active campaign, because I'm gonna send an email. The medium is email. The name, I'm gonna call it integrate pro. And the term is gonna be active campaign UTMs. And I'm not gonna leave campaign content. Now what's different about this builder is it does a few things. It does everything in lowercase, because if you have capital email versus lowercase email, those could be considered two different things, but they're probably the same. Second, it only allows numbers, letters, and dashes. And third, in the campaign content, if you don't provide anything, it's gonna fall back to the current date. Now I wanna click on Submit, and then I can copy that URL. Now I'm gonna go into active campaign and send an email. I've already started one here, so let's just put it in here. Now I'm going to paste in that URL, but you know what? I don't really need to put all that stuff there. I don't wanna show that, but I do want it to be part of the link. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on link, paste that in. So now I'm gonna know when I send out this email and people click on it, these, this information will show up in my Google Analytics account. So I can track the source, referral, all that information. So when that link is clicked and people visit the web page, that information is going to be pushed into Google Analytics. In this case, my assumption is measurementmarketing.io has Google Analytics installed and they will pick up on that information. So that's how to use ActiveCampaign UTMs.